Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today I am sharing a custom made kit that I created and uh, this is going to be one with doilies, uh, sheer fabrics, appliques, uh, vintage and antique laces and trims and um, yeah some millinery flower that I found uh, in a or on a antique market in Belgium. And this is how it looks like when I open her up. This is a very, very, yeah, this is vintage, very old sort of a scarf. This side is fully, um, the color is, is full there. And this side just has a slight discoloration here in this corner. But I know that the person that will that has ordered this can use these items, this product, this beautiful scarf very well. So this is for a close-up. This is a hand embroidered piece. And um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Really beautiful. Loving all the colors. So that's one of the brightest pieces in this box, as well as this beautiful piece of applique, which is this, quite a large piece there. And this is just a beautiful element from that applique. I just really love that. Then going to the next piece, which is this one. Really loving it. And uh, this one, which is a piece of a dimensional fabric, sheer fabric element there. She can use. Then there's this beautiful piece. It's just gorgeous. Loving that one. Sort of a very soft, uh, peachy, yeah, salmon more. It's very soft pastel salmon color. Like this. And then for the last applique piece, a large one, which is this. Really beautiful. So that, and then a, a large piece of this beautiful fabric she can use to create uh, flowers and uh, pockets, uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff, of course. And this, this is a vintage piece of lace, but as you can see, it has a sort of a yeah, corder, corderated, I believe that's what it's called. Because it's very thick and just gorgeous. Loving that one. So that's for that. Then we'll go to all the doily pieces that I found and I put <coughs> inside. She does love some special pieces, so I'll mention them all. But these are all vintage. This is a, a larger piece that she can use to create journal covers with. Like so. And if you need some information on uh, elements that you see here from this uh, uh, custom made kit, you can always contact me because it's also possible to uh, buy um, vintage doilies uh, separately so individually you don't have to purchase an attire kit this one just contact me and i can uh, share with you the prices of course there are all different prices because some of them are more intricate are um, yeah more uh, delicate than the other so they all have 
like this one different patterns so that's what I love about this kit this is a larger one but a very delicate intricate piece there but still really gorgeous all of these have been washed and ironed up here a Wettenberg piece and this one is also very different and as you can see it goes on and on because I put quite a lot of pieces specialty pieces in this one this is a quite a large one you can see the beautiful elements here inside this one and these sides this as well so it's possible to cut off all these elements I'm not sure if I would have purchased this one that I could have um, uh, cut the inside because it's so beautiful I would display it first I think this one has uh, a slightly tear on the side it's yeah of course that's with the vintage elements yeah it does have a slightly tear here but I know that she uh, does appreciate that as well so this is really large piece it's like this this is like a box for uh, larger than 12 by 12 so and this piece is is even larger than that let me show you again quickly so it's larger than 12 by 12 piece this one so that's for that then I have this really beautiful one as well and these are one of my favorites I put in, in an uh, entire set of this one like a two-toned open weaved element there this is the smallest piece of that set and this is sort of a, a you can use this as a journal cover as well quite a large piece as you can see here really love that so that's for that then again a specialty piece with a sort of waved edge super cute and this one really beautiful not sure even uh, how much doilies are, are inside you have to watch the video and count them all one by one really beautiful i know she loves these kinds of uh, doilies so i put quite a lot of those inside this one's beautiful for the butterflies loving that one and this one is so beautiful can you see the beautiful flower elements there such a beautiful one this is the smaller size and this is the larger size of that one just like this and I have this one again really so as you can see this is quite a large large kit so she has yeah quite a large stash for a while to create to craft to gift or uh, yeah whatever she wants to do with these beautiful elements just a beautiful piece here as well very very soft very intricate loving that one these ones like so and these ones as well some of the sorry are even almost I like antique pieces as well so and then I found this particular one 
sorry about the threads. These are all from the seam binding from the wrappers. Oh, I wasn't in frame. Sorry. Like so. Then there's this one. And this one has a beautiful Cupid as motif here as a pattern. This one is also vintage. Then we'll go to the beautiful pieces that I found. This one is also found um, in, a, in a thrift store. I found this and uh, I believe this is one of the colors that she loves a lot. Green. So I put those in there. And then there's this one as well. Then I put in a few elements that Prestigia crocheted. Just love, love those. And some of the request, the military flowers, which is this one. It's just really beautiful. It's really beautiful when you see it in person as well. I just love it. And this one which is a very special one as well. And this one. And then there is this beautiful fringe. Quite a large piece. I believe she has this one as well in her kit. Designer's thing kit. But I decided to put this one as well inside. Because it fits so well with all the items that are in this kit. And these two... This, this is also a piece of a vintage, a ruffled trim. This one is also almost antique piece. And then there is quite a few pieces that are really antique, which are these two. those here and also let me see these are antique these this one these three so antique and this one And I believe these as well. These two. I'll try to put in some uh, detailed photos. This one I believe is also all, yeah antique. And these are the vintage pieces. Really beautiful and let me see if it will focus, if you can see them. And so, and then there's these. So if you see, this is quite a large, large, large bundle of so many beautiful different elements there. I will be creating a, another kit and uh, share them uh, soon with you. This is also a very specialty piece there. There are two rings that are crocheted into each other. And if you... Uh, um, Crochet them all to each other. You have a beautiful quilted piece. That's for that. Vintage piece is that. The rings are vintage. We have this. And then there are so many bits and pieces there. 
this is like a hoarding fold for people that love vintage and antique pieces. You have so many. This is also antique. So many different um, elements here. Like this. And it's almost done, almost to the bottom. And as I said, I will try to make some pictures because the camera sometimes has a hard time focusing on these colors. Especially now, today is a very rainy day. So I cannot do it too bright, otherwise you won't see the beautiful colors as well. So I have to work with that. Then a piece of uh, beautiful pattern paper here, vintage of course. And there are these beautiful three postcards with some writing here and also on the back. You have a beautiful writing. Then there is a this. Beautiful, this is Genova. September the 20th of 1920. You can see the date here. And this is a beautiful French Christmas card. Beautiful writing in the back. So this is uh, the beautiful uh, kit that is custom made and I cannot wait to hear what she thinks about the elements and as I said I will try to uh, put in some photos, not of all the elements because there are so much, but I will try to put in some photos there so uh, you can see the close-ups as well. And um, I will tuck them in. And then, um, yeah, I'll, I cannot wait to hear what you think and to, uh, to uh, read your response. And uh, if you're interested, just contact me and I will contact you as soon as possible. So, wishing you all a great day and uh, hoping you're all feeling well and staying safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.